Middlesex's Toby Rodden Jones claimed six for 66, the best figures of his career, as his side made a fight back on the second day of their LV County Championship match against Sussex at the ProBiz County Ground. Sussex resumed on the second morning in a good position on 106 for three, 64 runs behind Middlesex's 170 all out, and captain Ed Joyce soon secured the run he needed to complete his 119 ball half century. His partnership with Michael Yardy had begun with a total on 64, and it went past 50 with both batsmen hitting early boundaries. Already the feeling was that this was a crucial part of this important game of cricket. This pair took their side to within 28 runs of Middlesex's total. Roland Jones, with one wicket to his name on the previous day, struck in the morning's 18th over, delivering a brute of a ball which hit Joyce on the glove before being gathered behind by John Simpson. Yardy remained, however, and with his eye in, his knock was now going to be the one the visitors needed to end quickly. Instead, a drive through the covers took the former captain to his 50. It had been a good one, coming off 160 liveries. He now wanted to establish a good first innings lead. Sussex, though, were still four runs adrift when they lost Luke Wright, who, after starting nicely enough, edged Tim Murta to Darwin Milan to go for 10. Ten minutes before lunch on day two, Sussex were level as Yardy drilled a ball from Gareth Berg to the boundary. And two balls later, the batsman drove Berg with real authority through the covers to take his side into the lead with five wickets left in the bank. Sussex went to lunch on 182 for five, leading by 12, with Ben Brown just beginning to find his feet on a pitch which has offered those bowlers who put their backs into their deliveries plenty of assistance. The afternoon session was the time for the home side to press home their advantage. But Corey Collimore showed just what could be achieved with the ball on a pitch which sometimes offered the kind of bounce normally reserved for Perth. Chris Rogers then took the second new ball, chucked it to Roland Jones, who immediately found the edge of Brown's bat as he departed for 12 at 206 for 6. Yardy, however, looked in a determined mood and he denied Middlesex any more success with the new cherry as he continued to frustrate the visitors. Yardy quit the captaincy recently to concentrate on his form and this knot would have been filling him with confidence. He now found support from Steve McGoffin, an Australian who's proved to be a very good acquisition for the county. Not only has he taken plenty of wickets, but he's also scored many valuable runs down the order and he and Yardy now carry the lead to 68. Yardy had his second ton of the summer in his sights when, 11 runs short, he pulled a ball from Roland Jones straight into Murta's hands at long leg. Having got rid of Yardy, Middlesex now badly needed to mop up the tail as soon as possible, but not for the first time in recent weeks. McGoffin and James Anion combined to keep the scoreboard ticking over. In their last match against Worcestershire, it was these two who finally batted their side into a winning position. McGoffin should have gone on 26 but was missed in the slips by Milan off Berg. But that didn't prove to be overly costly as nine runs later, the big Aussie nicked a cut off Collymore behind to end an eighth wicket partnership of 43, which had now taken the lead to 111. But after tea, the Sussex innings ended with a flourish. Roland Jones hit the top of Anions off stump as he went for 29 to give the bowler his fifth wicket. And the 24-year-old then grabbed his sixth next ball by pinning Monty Panasar in front for a golden duck. Sussex were all out for 287 to lead by 117. Roland Jones finishing with the demonic figures of 6 for 66. Given the pace of this hove pitch, Chris Rogers now entered the fray with plenty of protective padding around the chest and ribs. But instead, it was he who was soon handing out all the blows as he smashed one boundary after another determined not to let Sussex stay ahead in this match for too long. He played some gorgeous shots to give his side a flying start after they were left with 28 overs to see out the day. They could have gone in at the end of it in some trouble. But Rogers and Sam Robson were able to knock 72 runs off their deficit in just 18 overs. So the pacemen were taken off and Panasar came on and grabbed the big wicket of Rogers, who nicked him behind for a 53 ball 48. McGoffin then found some movement to bowl Joe Denley for eight and that ensured that Sussex still just have the edge at the halfway stage of this match. Middlesex ended the day on 92 for two with Robson still there on 24 and night watchman Roland Jones finishing off a fine day for him with an undefeated five. The third morning will be key. Middlesex will begin it trailing by 25 runs.